during the discussions, um, it had been made clear that the FTC would not take kindly to my accusing them of either or both of two things, incompetence or bad faith. I don't believe I have used either the word incompetence or the words bad faith in all that I have said. But I hope that notwithstanding, I have been able to demonstrate how utterly and completely without merit what was said by the FTC in that June 10th filing was, how much it conceivably could have damaged reputations and how absolutely outraged I was at what took place. As I said, I will go no further. I don't think that really the FTC could have expected that I would do any less than what I have this afternoon. Again, completely consciously stayed away from any allegation of bad faith or incompetence. But the Belizean people needed for the record to be set straight, and I hope that I have done so. Do you think that you should uh, call fresh elections, new <laughs> elections to, to get a fresh mandate because your government has been embroiled in all kinds of controversy and... Well, well, sir, any government will be embroiled in controversy. You can't, you, can't, you can't run a country for three terms and not have controversies. But how on earth would something like this, uh, which involves Americans, defrauding Americans, unfortunately, it also included Atlantic International Bank Limited being listed as a defendant. How would that embroil the government in scandal and fraud. No, sir. That, that makes no sense. 